Hi, my name's Adam Clay, Ruminant Manager at Trial Nutrition. I'm going to talk to you about grassland management and some aspects that we need to bear in mind when we're managing particularly high yielding cows at grass. Now, grassland management will vary from farm to farm because of infrastructure of that unit, things like pasture and pasture availability and field size, track quality, gateway quality, but also the farmer's own desire to make better use of grass and which may line in with their milk contract as well. But there are two key features that we must bear in mind when we're managing grass. The first one is achieving a good residual. Everything that is done in grassland management is to achieve a good quality residual. The residual is what's left in the, in the field after cows have grazed it. Now an ideal residual or an optimum residual is 1500 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. Now this is a low residual that cows will leave the pasture at and it's very difficult to achieve. And to achieve that low level of residual, then entry cover into the pasture must be at its optimum level, which is 2,800 or 2,800 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. This will allow the cows every chance to graze that residual down to a low level. Achieving a good quality residual will allow for a fast and optimum regrowth and will enable the highest quality pasture throughout the entire year. We can measure pastures and determine the kilograms of dry matter per hectare by using a plate meter. The plate meter reads the grass density in the field. By pushing down on the, or laying the plate meter down on the pasture, the grass will push the plate up and therefore measure a reading of density. So that also takes into account dry matter of the grass to a degree, but also the density within the base of the sward. This can be used to then budget and allocate the grass quantities to the herd in the field. The other key factor, as well as achieving a good quality residual, is maximising dry matter intake, or at the very least knowing how much dry matter intake your cows are achieving. The modern 650 kilogram Holstein has a dry matter intake requirement of anywhere from 19 kilos up to 25 kilos. A good day grazing for a Holstein cow may achieve 12 kilos dry matter intake of grass intake. They may even achieve 14, but on very, very good conditions. A typical level would be closer to eight to 10 kilograms of dry matter intake. This means that the animals have to find at least a further 10 kilograms dry matter intake at some point during the day. We also need to bear in mind that cows won't graze during the night time, or very, very little anyway. Therefore, our ability to achieve 12 kilograms dry matter intake has to be done during the day in the best conditions. We also have to allow time for the cows to achieve that remaining dry matter intake in the shed or in the parlour. We can graze cows at optimum periods of the day, which is at sunrise at the start of the day and sunset at the end of the day. This is, these are when cows will have the highest peak intakes throughout the day. In the middle of the day, the dry matter intake reduces and therefore that can be an optimum time to achieve the remaining dry matter intake from inside the shed. If you wanted to see this video clip again or find further information, then either visit the Tran Nutrition website or the NWF website. Thank you.